So this morning we have uh, put the flat roof on and I've never ever seen unlaminated OSB before ever in my life, but there it is. It's actually better for the roof, for the glue. And we're gonna put down, it'll absorb into my timber there and uh, it'll stick like shit to a blanket to the rubber. So the plan is today we are going to carry on framing out the front here, run some noggings across all that and then we're going to plywood sheet the entire drama which will give it a bit more rigidity and we can remove the sway braces and stuff and the building will be safe to stand on its own. But at the minute as you can see it's uh, propped up on bits of stuff and, and the, new, the old roof is still inside. I've done about 30 of these a year, some are complicated, some are pretty simple, this one has been complicated, so that's my phone ringing. While you were sunbathing in the garden, you would not be happy about it at all. So, two more days, we'd have this entire place complete inside flooring, staircase, hole cut out, but all the dormer would be plywooded. And then my team would move on to the outside. But on this occasion, we're moving from here to another site where we have to shrink the dormer. We built the dormer five years ago, uh, and it's too big of the council are happy, so now we're knocking three meters off it. The tenant inside that, that flat is not going to be happy at all when she moves back in and finds out that a wall doesn't go where it, where it went. But uh, I'm about to put a piece of steel right where her bed is. <laughs> I don't think she's aware of that. The landlord did say move your stuff away from the walls, but I'm actually demolishing the dormer, so she has to move out of the building, unfortunately. So... <laughs> That wall there, we didn't make a wall where the bottom of the starlights are. We make the same the mode, a bit more usable space. It's also a bit moving the steel. Basically, I see this picture a lot. I never building the picture is exactly the same. You, 
you pay for a lock on the you don't want this wall here. You want that wall here. I mean that that area there, you get a double bed in there. So this this plan here is gonna be bathroom, where we go in there. All this room here, side room. There's going to be another room over there. There's staircase over there. You have to get this picture and turn it into reality. Sometimes, pretty hard. But the architect has got a double dormer wall right tight to the chimney stack there. But uh, I've had to allow room for the, my guys to work in there. So we've had to reduce this much off the width of the loft conversion. The architects always go for it tight up to the chimney and we can't do that, we're not allowed. Architects are men with questionable intelligence. Ultimately <laughs> we're all led by people with questionable intelligence, including myself. Okay, the inside just about done now. We've got a little bit more floor to go down. Uh, not enough time today. We are standing down off this job for uh, about 10 days. While the bricklayer gets here and closes that hole there and sticks his uh, pad stone on the top there so the steel eventually going to sit down. And then we'll be able to remove the genie and throw it out of the window there and then get it down the scaffolding and that is going to be a mission but uh, all this front roof here stood on this uh, structural wall which is balanced off the steel there uh, but here we go about as far as we can get today so we build about 30 of these a year uh, and the steel seems to be getting bigger on every job, I don't know why that is. Structure engineers, they love their steel. And these timbers here, seven by three. I used to build these out of three by two. I have no idea why everything's so big these days. But uh, we've got a nine by two head beam, we used to use six by three. And that has doubled. But uh, we're out of here today. We're going to hang a curtain on there to stop the rain getting in. The bricklayer will have to sort of lift it up and down as it goes. <coughs> and uh, check this steel out here for a floor. Usually use six inch steels. This is a eight inch steel, 47 UB. For you guys that don't know, UB universal beam, 47 being its weight per meter. Very, very heavy. Very heavy. All sound pad stones there, the bricklayer is going to wall around that. And the next time I get here, there'll be a wall here with a window in there, light into the staircase. The staircase is coming out, out about here. A bit more floor to create the landing. Uh, this, this timber here is left in because we're actually going to use that timber because the dormer here is built over the top of the bay window. So we have to drop the ceiling inside and double that beam up there. Because the structure engineer says that that 9 by 3 beam spanning 3 metres isn't strong enough to, to have this dormer built on it. Even though, even though I have built hundreds of dormers off 9 by 3 now we have to have steel and other things. And some of these buildings I work on 200 years old, built off 9 by 3s still there. But yet we need to use a piece of steel, look at it. See you later.